It's an unprecedented sight and one that drew a small crowd of curious onlookers outside Wellington Barracks. <laughs> Members of the French Garde Républicaine rehearsed alongside their British counterparts as France prepared to become the first non-Commonwealth nation to take part in the changing of the guard ceremony. This morning, we had the opportunity to go and see the palace. It was a great moment, because even if we're used to the Élysée, the Assembly, the Senate and the ministries, Buckingham is still a legendary place. The French, however, will not stand guard at Buckingham Palace. That's an honour reserved for the Royal Bodyguard and British and Commonwealth troops. Monday's event marks the 120th anniversary of the Entente Cordiale between Paris and London. The series of agreements paved the way for stronger relations between the two historic European rivals. Well, it's a celebration of, you know, diplomatic ties between, between the two nations, which, which has been so successful. And actually, it's a demonstration to the rest of NATO and to Europe what can happen if two nations get on and, and really become fantastic allies. In London, high-level diplomatic and defence officials are attending the ceremony, where a military band is playing national anthems from both countries. A similar event is taking place in Paris. Members of the Coldstream Guards join French troops to guard the Elysee Palace.